question is, is IR a distinct specialty from diagnostic radiology? Is IR truly separate from diagnostic radiology? Um, this is something that's been going on for years and I have a feeling that it's going to continue to go on for at least the next 10 years, at least the next 10 years. And I can explain why I think this is still in question. Um, this really comes down to what does it really mean to be separate? It means that you're independent and that really means financial independence, you know? To truly be independent of another structure or entity, you have to be financially independent. And easiest way to understand this is to understand, you know, children and parents. When the child can go out and secure their own income and secure their own housing and be able to balance the books and hopefully make a profit, that is when the child is, fin is independent. They're financially independent. If the child cannot make ends meet and needs to be bailed out by the parent, the child is not independent. The child is still codependent on the parents. Um, in order to be truly independent, you have to be financially separate and on your own. Um, what is the current relationship between IR and DR? Um, they are still really practiced together, right? Um, start with the board certification, all right? Board certification is a big part of being a physician. If you're not board certified, it's hard to obtain or to maintain privileges at, uh, at hospitals and healthcare centers. Uh, you look at the board certification, there is no such thing as being a board certified interventional radiologist. You can get a board certificate for IR slash DR. That's literally what it says on the certificate. It's IR slash DR. So if you look at the board certification process, you're not independently IR. You are practicing some portion of DR. Now that portion might be 0%, but again, you're certified to do both. You're not really certified to do one. You could be certified to just do diagnostic radiology and probably right after you're trained, you might be able to get board certification in diagnostic radiology for some time. But if you wanna be board certified in IR, the only option right now is to be board certified in both IR and DR. Uh, and that's just certification. Certification is, is a process. Um, it means something but uh, it's not everything. Um, let's talk about the training. Let's talk about the training itself. Uh, the training for IR is done in radiology departments, essentially diagnostic radiology departments. It still functions under diagnostic radiology. In fact, even if you're training as a quote unquote IR resident, an independent IR resident, you're still being trained in diagnostic radiology. You still have to take diagnostic radiology rotations. If you break down the training of an IR physician and the quote unquote IR residency, you will see that part of their training is to read or be on rotations for diagnostic radiology. So even the training is not truly independent. I mean, it's not even a question of even. It's, this was how they were constructed. They were constructed to do both. Um, I don't think they can fill a rotation schedule for an IR resident to be 100% IR. I don't think they can physically do that. Uh, the limitations are numerous and kind of beyond the scope of this video, but fair, fair to say that it would be impossible to create a five-year residency for an IR resident that's composed of, you know, 90% or more IR rotations. I just don't think that's possible. Again, because IR and diagnostic are so intertwined on such a basic level. Um, the training programs want you to be able to do both. Um, reason for that is multifactorial, but really it comes down to supporting yourself. Actually, kind of the first thing I talked about, the financial independence. Can you financially support yourself doing 100% IR out there in the quote unquote real world? Uh, tough question. Some people are able to do it. Um, the real question, which is really hard to answer is, can the people that want to do it actually do it? Can the people that want to be 100% IR can they actually support themselves financially practicing 100% IR? Unfortunately, that question is something I think we will never be able to answer, but that's, that's the important question to answer. You know, the people that want to do 100% IR, are they able to do 100% IR? Um, long story short, 
I think the answer to that question is unfortunately no. Um, I think people are doing diagnostic uh, for many reasons. Some some people don't want to do diagnostic, but they're still doing it. And again, I'm, you know, and I'm speaking for others. For myself, I don't mind di doing diagnostic, but I'm just saying in general, there are people out there that are doing diagnostic radiology as an IR, and maybe they don't want to do, be doing it. Um, is the IR section truly independent from the diagnostic radiology section? This is the big one, right? Are, is IR as a section in an academic medical center or otherwise, are they truly financially independent of the radiology uh, uh, section or the radiology uh, group or the, you know, the radiology department, right? Uh, I think the answer is no. Uh, most academic medical centers, IR is still under the Department of Radiology, is still supported financially by Department of Radiology. If they went independent totally, could they support themselves? Unclear, unclear. All the section heads or chairs of IR would have to basically separate financially and see if they can balance the books, see if they can still support the, the salaries of the IR physicians doing IR work. Now, maybe they could or maybe they couldn't. I mean, one way they could do it if the RVUs of IR doesn't support it or the, or the technical fees from IR doesn't support it is they could ask for subsidies from the hospital or they could ask for subsidies for being doing, you know, quote unquote required work, things like covering Paris doors, covering GI bleeds and figuring, what, uh, figuring out what the market value of that is. Again, has that been done? Not really. Why has it not been done? Well, it looks like because really they don't have to be financially independent because they're not training independent residents. They're training residents to do IR and DR together. So it's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, we're branding people as IR residents, but they're really IR DR residents. Uh, if you look at the rotation schedule, if you look at the physical location of where the training is occurring, if you look at what most of the residents are doing once they finish practice and are out there, finish training or out there practicing, they're practicing a combination of IR and DR. When, you, when they go to get board certified, they can't get board certified in interventional radiology. They get board certified in interventional radiology and diagnostic radiology. So again, start off with the, how, this, how this video started. I'm asking you, are IR and DR truly separate in 2021? And uh, you've got some information now, uh, you make your decision. And you go with that. It's Rogue RMD.